Roofing, move, get a couple of shots off, move again, get a couple of shots off, move again. But you, you sort of feel it has to be the, to the side and then to the side. And yeah, of course. Well, see, what is, see, four is walking, four is, you know, all intents and purposes, walking and down. But there's no massive urgency in, in, in the footwork of a four because Carol is happy to move back in straight lines. And he ends up there, as he is now, he's in the corner. He has to fight his way out, which he can do, of course. But it means he can't build up a, a strategy of an attack. He can't lead with the jab. Then he has to fire out some combinations to get himself out of trouble. That's good work, though. And, and to be fair, for for all the walking down in this round so far, for he hasn't been too effective. Oh, <laughs> huge right hand. He just quickened his feet there, the Thorey. And every time there's a, a little rally from Carroll, the, the four, he just kind of quickens the tempo, and suddenly there's a, a little bit of intensity, intensity back in his work. Oh, right up, okay. You can't miss him with that shot. This is where the four, he got to stay low. He just tried, he just almost tried there, didn't commit to the roll, but I think that's what he needs to do when he gets in close. Dip those legs, start rolling around, back and forth, left to right, coming back with the hooks. And Carroll's had a... He has had a go in this round, Barry, hasn't he? He's, he's, he's tried to meet him, he's, he's, he's put a lot into it. And then a four, he just sort of comes back and, and nullifies it. Plenty of sparring with um, Stephen Smith in the, the build-up to this one. Swifty is ringside tonight, so he's got a Paul and Liam Smith all ringside now, probably lending their support to Cal. Better from Carol Barry? Yeah, well, it has been, and less effective, except for that, that little burst of attack there from before he... So sort of 20, 30 seconds ago, I think he's been less effective in the show. He needed a bit of a response, Carl, didn't he? And I think he might have found it in that round. They'll try and stop you every step of the way. They've torn us apart, fractured our society, and the only way to save it is in my hands. My name is Sam Porter Bridges. It's my job to reconnect us. Happy birthday, all caps, exclamation point, exclamation point, cake slice emoji, candle emoji, emoji with the hard eyes. For rounds three and four, did that take a little bit out of Afori, or was it just the response of Carroll that was the difference in that round? Either way, here we are into round six. To those first two rounds that were really difficult to score. It's good there from Carroll there. Nice little spin on the ropes. Just got to get that intensity back now, isn't he? Afori, as he had in the what was it, the, the, the third and the fourth round. But he just up the tempo, a little bit more energy in his work, more imagination in some of his work. Carroll's had that sort of smudge of blood from his nose pretty much from the end of the first round. He's had to deal with that. So he's, he's there, he's where you want him now. I thought he got to let his hands go. Good left hook there from Afori. It was, he started it with the uppercut and again up close, letting his hands go. See there again, kind of walking back to the ropes. 
And then in close, I did see the foot, it's a four, he was landing the shots. Yeah, good body, body shot. shot, yeah, really good right hand there from a 40 again. He's a sustained attack and Carol backing off. Oh, another body shot. Is he starting to get through here? A 40, another right hand to the body goes in. Just can't keep them off, can he? Lovely ever cut the game there from a 40. Oh, huge shot getting through and he's he's bullying him round the ring. A, a 40, Carol to his credit, trying to fight back. Put a lot into this round of 40. 40 odd seconds to go. I think he needs it if he can keep that foot on a pedal now. Carol showing a good resilience there, trying to fight back, but he looked a little bit in trouble. He won't let his hands go. And just as well as the blood that's coming from his nose, uh, I think there's a little bit of bruising and swelling under his left eye now, too. And he's our second win, doesn't he now? Carol. He's trying to bite down on his gum shield, isn't he? Right hand gets through from a 40. Another big round. And the Rounds three and four were pretty big, and this six, the pretty big two for a 4-8. I mean, you can win rounds wide, or you can win them narrow. They both go down as the same on the scorecard. It's a good and round there. That from was a, a big round from a 4-8. I'm on the beach, Sam. Our beach, the one where I was born. Come and find me. PlayStation. Happy birthday. All caps. Exclamation point. Exclamation point. Cake slice emoji. Candle emoji. Emoji with the hard eyes. This is the Nest Hub Max from Google. It plays live TV and you can pause it with magic. Ta-da! Un ta da, ta da, ta da. Big two last two rounds now to to pull it out of the bag for me. Well, you do feel the third, fourth, and sixth were significant and big rounds for a forty. The first and second, you could argue about the the fifth. That I think Carroll showed a lot of heart and might just have taken it. Not inconceivable it could be three apiece. Not inconceivable, even though on balance you, you feel it before he's done more. Oh, right hand early enough before he really oh. trying to dig into the body whenever he gets close. The two best shots of a four is that right uppercut. And he throws, when he's in close, he throws a nice short left hook. But he doesn't really get a little whip in it, but it's a heavy shot. Oh, right hand gets through. Who's an ass from the crowd here at the Olympia? Takes a good shot, Carol, mind his credit. Oh, that's another left hook's just gone in there, Barry, as well. Carol trying to fight back, but this doesn't seem to be enough on those shots to keep off a 40. Remember, a four, he's been ten rounds a couple of times. And uppercut again. Oh, another right hand. And he really is putting it on, Carol. See, in a couple of those ten rounds, the experience you learn from a four. He's just using that elbow just to, just to get, create a little bit of space, a little jib with the elbow, just creates a bit of space for him to let those uppercuts and hooks in close. Yeah, he found the space for it, didn't he? Even though it didn't quite land clean. I'll tell you what did was that uppercut from a 40 gets through again, and now the blood is smudged across the face of Carroll, who really is having to dig deep here. He's not doing enough work, though, Carroll. He's fighting back, and, you know. Not letting the 40 overwhelm him, but he, yeah, that's better for him. He needs to be really busy, though. He's a to win these two rounds big. Body shot. Yeah, it was a good shot there from Carol back. Oh, Retaliation, but the, the short left hook that Barry mentioned up closer. There's another huge one gets through from a 40. And back comes Carol. Lovely left hook there from Carol. 
Oh, he's having a go, Cal, but he is shipping too many here. Still 30 seconds to go in the seventh. Little, just as Carlo lands that left hook again, as he's done all night before we respond with a right hand left hook. We always look to step up in a test, a potential test for Carroll. And it is, no doubt, unfolding as a big test. Another tough round. Another big round. It seemed what a response from Carroll, though. As a struggling actor, I need all the breaks that I can get. At Liberty Butchimo. Cut. Liberty Mu Line. Cut. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Cut. Liberty Mu Am I allowed to riff? What if I come out of the water? Liberty Bibbity. Cut. We'll dub it. Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Crunchy satisfaction and cheesy perfection. Oh, who's winning? I'm talking about cheese it the perfect cheesy snack to watch the game with. You, you know, I almost went pro, but I blew out my knee. You don't have any knees, cheese. Man, cheese. What a hard fight. Forty trying to come forward again. Oh, big shot that from Carroll. You fancy Carroll needs something special. Can he find it in the last three minutes? Good right to the body there from Afori. The tactics have been right there from Afori, and it's been a bit crude at times. He's walked in straight lines, but you've got a guy who's not noted as a big puncher, a guy who's got a longer reach, might be technically better than you on paper, and he smothered his work. He's used that strength. He's bullied him at, at times. And he's been busier for the most of it. And, and as much as through the first few rounds, no doubt Cal was helping Afori by retreating and allowing him to, to close the gap without necessarily working too hard. It, it's just been pretty much from the third on. It's just been a grueling, tough fight. And Afori's right earned everything. And another good right hand there from Afori. What Cal has shown tonight is he got a bit of bottle. Takes a good shot. Doesn't box with strength, though, to me. I think he's a, he can be a lot better. Well, he is a lot better. Yeah, I think there are increases to eye now, but certain boxes you you just don't know until you face them. And he has faced them tonight, Cal, and he has ticked a few boxes, no doubt about it. And here we are in the second half of the final round, and he's throwing punches, trying to win it. Good body shot there from Carroll, and a left hook up off the break. And again, he comes off the break there, and when he should have pivoted, he goes back to straight lines, and he's back in trouble again. Oh, big body shot there from Fori up close. Look at Fori, see, he goes back to straight lines, he's straight on him. Using the elbow as well for Afori, he got a bit of space, that uppercut there again, that's, that's been a shot of the night for him, hasn't it? And still he's forcing himself forward, Carl trying to force out the punches in retaliation more than anything else. Well, Carl's just fighting, he's, done, he's not thinking about tactics, if he's winning, if he's losing, he's just fighting, that's it, he's tired. Well, it was a, a good shot from Carroll, oh. and the, the two right hands that have come back from a 40, well, those were shots that should put you down, and Carroll somehow still up. And trying to fight back, Carroll to his credit. But it's a 40, oh, it's oh. another body shot. Oh, that was almost made him dip to his knees. A couple of sickening body shots right at the end from a 40. Always find space, didn't he, with the, with the body shots there, a 40. What a crack it all scrap. What a fantastic start to our evening here. We've got two former world champs and a three-times world title challenger still to come. They're looking to make their way back to the top of the tree, but these guys further down the ladder have put on a real spectacle to kick-start the show. And I thought Afori was fantastic, you know, presuming he gets the win. I think, I think he's done more than enough for me. I think he was fantastic. Coming away from home like this, you know, 
in a fight that if people are favouring Carroll to win, you would presume. And he's just shown your strength. Sometimes good tactics, but other times he just thought he did the right thing against a guy who's technically better. Just he shut that space down, worked hard, worked the body well. The little short left hooks and our right uppercut were really, for me, what won him the fight. Because if he couldn't break Carroll's spirit, but if, if anything was going to break his spirit, it was those uppercuts and short left hooks in close. Carroll, for me, showed great resolve. You know, a fight in a, a fight in heart when he fight back under pressure. That's his first good check of his pro career, of course, that he hadn't had at this, at, to the, at this stage. But he doesn't box for his strength. He, he could be better if he kept it at range. He needs to work on that jab a little bit more for me. Whether he gets the win or not, I don't think he does. But if he does, there's things to work on. There's, in his capability to be a much better fighter than he is. And they know that. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds, we go to the scorecards. Referee Jamie Kirkpatrick scores the bout. 79 points to 75 in favor of your winner, Jeff Ofori. And please hold your applause for Jeff Carroll. Four in it in the end, and the right result, I think it's fair to say, Jeff Ofori put in so much there. He landed so many shots. So, terrific. We'll grab a word with him, Barry. But I suppose the good news.